just gonna pop this baby out. Hello, howdy. We are attempting to like make one of those cute wavy mirrors. I'm gonna try and document it. See how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't turn out too terrible, but we will see. This is what I have thus far. Um, it's a ton of eraser marks because I'm just drawing it out. Kind of map out where you want the mirror part to go and then make sure it doesn't overlap. That's what I'm trying to do. So what happens is this thing just goes back and forth. Move it with your hand like this. You just want to keep the, the blade moving. If you let up and the blade starts moving slowly, then it's really gonna like push itself. You actually wanna keep the blade moving faster. Hi, OMG, if you are going to use a jigsaw and don't know how this is not a tutorial, please get someone who knows how to use it to teach you. These are just some helpful tips and I am trying it for the first time. I am emphasizing this is not a tutorial, please do this at your own risk. This is what you have thus far. I have two kinds of sandpaper. This one's very aggressive, this one's super soft. So this one I'm gonna use to kind of get in some of those divots where I kind of messed up because I like wasn't good at this. And then the other one I'm gonna just use to make the edges less ugly. All right, cool, we done. Darling, you Alright y'all, it is day two. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes. That does not matter. So we have one coat of primer. I'm gonna do another one. So I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding to get rid of some of the like grainy texture. And then I'm gonna paint it again. I'm gonna pop this baby out. Alright, no spamos. Alrighty, I'm putting on another coat of primer. It's not that interesting, so I'm not going to show too much. Alrighty, I look like crap, but that's okay, because I'm just going to Ace Hardware, because I'm going to go get some paint. I think I want to do, like, a light green color, but we'll see what they have. Who knows? Alright, I'm torn between two. It's on this strip. I don't know if I want the third one or the fourth one. Like, I don't know if I want it to be pastel or like a little bit more colorful. I just, I don't know. Help me. Help me. Like in some lights, the bottom one looks like a pretty sage color, but in others it looks a little too bright. So I don't know. Okay, so I bought the paint. I was really struggling between two different colors, but like I ended up deciding to get the bolder one because then it's like if I want to do some cool like wavy white things on it, you know, very like Paloma wool, that kind of jazz, I can do, do it with 
Oh, it's not gonna concentrate. I'll get a better shot of it later. But yeah, I'm so excited about this paint color, y'all. It's so, so cute. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like now. I've done two coats of primer, sanded it after each coat. And now I'm gonna do a coat of my green. I'm so excited. It's literally the prettiest shade of green. Oh, oh, I definitely made the right choice. Oh, it's so pretty. Alrighty, y'all have seen enough of me painting, so let's skip forward a bit. Okay, this part I rushed because I was literally leaving for school the next day. I started by completely sanding the back to make sure that the glass would lay flat. I then bought a little mirror piece from a glass store and measured it for where on the frame it would sit, and then penciled in the corners to mark. Then, we put this industrial wood glue all around the edges, popped the mirror on top, and then used textbooks to weigh it down for 24 hours. That's really it folks. product you could hang it up with like command strips if you wanted but i don't want to so alrighty that is all for this week i will see you guys next week and i hope you enjoyed this video